Hey, welcome to the studio. I've got a new class that I've put together that's coming up and uh, we're going to be, I'm really excited about it, we're going to be using tubing, we're going to be making tubing and we're going to be making a pendant. So I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis of what, how it's going to work and then I'll show you some examples of some finished work. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of strip like this and we're going to turn it into a piece of seamed tubing. This is tubing that has an open seam in it. You can't buy this stuff, you have to make it. So we're going to make this, and this is going to be kind of a community thing. We're going to make three or four different sizes, three or four different shapes, and then we're going to go from there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the pieces of tubing into the length you want for your pendant. After we do that, we're going to solder the two pieces of tubing onto a back plate like that with the open ends facing each other. We're going to take these pieces of plate, I've got all kinds, and we're going to use the rolling mill and we're going to emboss metal using the different kinds of plates. This will give us a print of what we want to put into our pendant. It's limitless what you can do. Some people might want to put a cabochon or a stone, slide it down, but you'll see how it all works after we make our plates and cut them to the right size. We're going to come over here now. After I've got my two pieces of parallel tubing soldered on here, and I'm, we're, and I'm gonna, we're gonna create a jig to make sure that these things are parallel and that your pieces are all the same size so that they all slide into each other. So then I just take my pieces, whichever ones I want, doesn't matter. You can make these any size, any shape. You can put one piece in, really doesn't matter. But I like to put little borders in between them. And I run these things through. I might take it apart two or three times to see which one I like, which uh, sequence I like the best. So after I get what I like, and I get the three pieces in there, I go to my bench and we trim it up. And I'll show you the next step. The bench is a mess, it stays a mess. I'm going to take my saw and I'm just simply going to take this cut off both at both sides and then I'm going to take another piece of plate similar to the bottom one and it's going to solder on to this end just like that. This will be, before I do that though, this will be filed. I'll take a file and I'll file it perfectly flat so that this piece that goes on top will solder on and be perfectly flush. Now as you see there's only two solders. There's a solder for the bottom plate and then a solder for the top plate. No solder on the back. You don't have to worry about the back at all. I make, a, I make a little bale or a clip to go on top. I can also put one on the bottom, but as you can see, there's no solder on the back. So I've made this piece using different, I've oxidized it and I've used different pieces of print. Now on this one, I've decided I might want to put a gemstone in there. So I made my piece first to mount a cabochon, put it in, and then I can take like, I love moonstones, I can take a moonstone, burnish it in, and there you have a finished piece. These are some pieces. This is what it looks like when you're working on it. This is what it'll look like finished. These are some pieces of mine that I've done that I'm using uh, of my own work that I'm getting ready to send to a gallery. That one's finished. This one's working on being finished. It's almost there. And after I did these, I decided why not just go ahead and use the same technique and think about making matching earrings to go with it. Now these are incomplete, but that gives you the idea of how great 
this tubing is. The tubing works not only as a design factor, but an engineering factor, and it's totally different, and it's a whole different direction that you can take your work. And this class is coming up. It's on the website, jamescarterstudio.com. Check it out, and uh, hope to see you then. Thank you.